Okay, questions please. Jose, ultimately is there satisfaction to be taken from the way the lads went to the end there, or is it outweighed by the frustration of the slack hands this allowed going? If you compare the second half with the first half, the second half was much better and was difficult to improve because I could feel some of the boys a bit in trouble by the the confidence levels and when the confidence levels are not high the quality of the performance is not easy to improve so we had to go through a shortcut we had to to do it by the attitude point of view we start playing in a way where uh, you don't feel so much the lack of, of confidence of some of the boys. So we start playing more direct. Fellaini a change to play just with, with Zlatan side to side or a little bit behind. We start playing more direct. Um, Everton start defending with everybody back, so they gave us they gave us the ball. And then we, we open people, we open Luke in one side and Lingard in the other one and we start going through the wings and putting balls in the box and in the end one cross, one goal, disallowed, wrong, but again I repeat, I don't have a bad feeling at all because it was a difficult one for the linesman and um, just the the VAR would would give would give the true, so I'm not I'm not disappointed with him at all, and I told him that already. No problem for me. And uh, we had more chances, and we hit the post, <coughs> and um, Zlatan had a a free header over the bar, and um, we tried everything, and in the end the goal arrived. So when the goal arrived in that moment, we know that by the points by the points point of view is not so important zero points or one point doesn't make a huge difference but is is a good feeling is a good feeling for the boys not to lose <coughs> you know and um, all the game always starts with with a big chance missing, always, always. We always have a chance in the beginning of the game where you are facing the keeper and the keeper saves or you miss or something happen and and that is um, happen all season, happen all season. We had lots of unlucky decisions by by the referees. We had lots of amazing performances by by the goalkeepers. We had uh, lots of ultra defensive uh, teams uh, coming here, um, but um, we need to score goals because we have chances and we need to score goals. And it's difficult. We we have people. That is not um, is not getting the opportunities, and that is bad for the team. But um, you know, I speak with them because when you give absolutely everything and you leave the pitch absolutely dead of work, that that's fine for me. That's fine for me. Marcus Rashford doesn't score a goal since since September. The only thing he deserves is support. Nothing else. Support. No critics. Support. He works. He works. He works. He tries. He tries. He plays through the middle. He goes to the left. We go to the right. He tries. He tries. He tries. So just as an example, I have to support the boys. And hopefully in the Europa League we score enough enough to go through the next round and it's some, something that we have to improve next season. Is Marcus struggling with confidence? Yeah, 
it's easy to see the kid is desperate uh, the kid is desperate uh, he tries and uh, you know it's not a surprise for me the second year after after the first one by surprise you know it's something maybe one day I I will try to I will try to find if happened the same with some Ryan Giggs or some of these guys they appear as a kid and then the next year probably is not the same you know but the kid is phenomenal amazing professional amazing professional so no problem I told him just now no problem keep going Sorry, David. Joseph, that's um, 10, 20 games unbeaten in the Premier League this season, but 10 of them are draws. Do, do you feel you've made more progress than, than those results would, would seem to suggest? I think we made progress in many, 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 many things, but I was always a very <coughs> pragmatic manager, so many times criticized by that. I don't want now to sell you philosophy like many they like to do it and um, I stick with the numbers and the numbers are, are, are the numbers 20 matches unbeatable is amazing I would sign immediately next year 20 matches unbeatable I would sign immediately because in the modern Premier League is, is really really difficult to do it but we need to score goals to win matches we need to score goals to win matches and, uh, you know, the game against West Bromish, we almost lost the game with a bad mistake and today we almost lost the game with a bad mistake and uh, normally we are punished by the bad mistakes we make and um, we don't score enough enough goals, it's so simple as, so simple as that. I put myself in the position of uh, of the supporters and I would say there is not one match at home that doesn't have emotion because we go until the end and we go until the end and we go until the end and we try and we change system and we change players and we change dynamic and we try and we try and we try but we don't score enough we don't score enough goals I think we are there are different stats um, and the stats are never the same but the last one I had we are the second team in the Premier League with more with more shots with more attempts on goal but then we are the third worst in the relation between uh, the shots and the number of goals we we score and that says absolutely everything Okay, last two questions, one here and one there. Joseph, when it comes to the constructing attacks against these teams that sit in an old block, like we've seen here at, at Old Trafford, do you prefer the players to innovate and come up with their own ideas for the attacks, or is it something that, that you work on uh, as a coach with them? I prefer both things. I prefer both things, but both things are only possible when the confidence levels are there, is, is the basic thing, to play more direct you don't need so much talent you don't need so much uh, intention you don't need so much creativity it becomes more more mechanic to play the way we like to play and the way we played so many times and so well this season you need what what we have you know creativity dynamic i give them lots of freedom to change positions and so on but in the end let's go again for the pragmatism and the pragmatism is how many goals score Rashford, Lingard, Mkhitaryan, Ander Herrera, Paul. Paul is the record of posts. I think he's a record of posts. I don't know, eight, nine, ten posts. You know, Paul is the record of posts. But then how many goals we score with these um, with these attacking players? Not enough. Not enough. And you know there are teams there are teams that three chances two goals three points goodbye we have one chance two three four five six seven <coughs> we don't we don't score and then we are in trouble
Jordan, we've spoken a lot over various months about Luke Shaw. Is what he did at the end there, is that the kind of performance or introduction to the game you were expecting to see from him all the time? I tell you because I told him already. He had a good performance, but was his body with my brain because he was in front of me and I was making every decision for him. And the communication was possible because we were very, uh, very close, but I was thinking for him when to close inside, when to open, when to, to go in depth, when to press the opponent. I was making every decision for him. And we need at this level, we need the fantastic body he has to play football the fantastic physical qualities he has, the very good technical ability he has, but he cannot play with my understanding of, of the game. He must understand the game, he must sink, and um, he must accelerate the process. He must accelerate the process because, you know, 21 years old is, 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 is old enough to have a a better understanding of, uh, of the game. But his contribution was, was good. He improved the team. He gave us immediately, after, after 30 seconds, he was almost in a, in a scoring position or in a, an assist position. But it was good for him. I think he goes, he goes today with a, with a positive feeling because his performance was, was very positive. And I'm, I'm happy with what he gave us. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry? Rudy's going to be okay. Thank you. Ankle issues. Two ankles. So I don't know. I don't know, but two ankles, I don't think it's easy to, to recover in a couple of days. Is it an injury in training or just an just a after effect? After the game. How's that? Bye, guys. Thank you.